Welcome back! Today we're gonna talk about another game from Yellow. The game is called Korra Rise of an Empire. In Korra Rise of an Empire, each player is the head of a blossoming city state in ancient Greece. On your turn, you must take two of the following seven actions philosophy, legislation, culture, trade, military, politics, or development. You choose an action that align with your strategy, but at the same time, they also work with your dice roll. You will need to adapt your strategy constantly and strengthen your actions by moving your markers up on your economy, culture, and military tracks. When you move up on the tax track, you can collect higher salt after the drag match. The troop track will help you to explore and garden more knowledge tokens, and the glory track to capitalize on your knowledge. You can also unlock achievement and above all, make sure you have the most points at the end of the ninth round to be crowned with the laurels of victories. Be careful, each achievement can only be claimed once by all the players. So basically, this is a race where the faster can claim the achievement. Korra Rise of Empire is a 2-4 player game with a lot of fun and mechanics such as card drafting, dice rolling, race, income, and so on. My favorite characteristic that I really like from this game is how easy it is to learn and to play. Even though there are 7 different actions, they remain the same in every single round. Also, the play, the gameplay is very smooth. There is not a lot of downtime when you have to wait for other players, no. So this cuts down the playtime a lot, because you don't have to wait for other players. Hence, regardless of how many people you play, it won't take more than 80 minutes. And that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Also, don't forget to rise your empire in the ancient Greeks.